Hey guys, we have a super special episode of Red Wolf TV planned for you guys today. But before we start, I want to take this opportunity to announce that RWA is now an official Saracote Center for Hillbilly 223. That's right. We are going to be able to bring some of the world's most premier firearm Saracote finishes right here in-house to Red Wolf Airsoft. That means if you want to get your gun Saracoted, you're going to get that same quality you're going to get from the legendary Saracote master himself, Hillbilly223, or one of our certified Saracote applicators. And with that, Mr. Boyd here, Hillbilly223, all the way from Beavertown, Arkansas. Hi guys. He's been with us for the last week, teaching us these really cool skills about Saracoting and making the best finish, not just for real firearms now, but for airsoft guns. So Boyd, thank you for being here Pleasure. on our channel. Pleasure. Uh, and we want to talk about some questions with you and the first one let's talk about how did you get your start in uh, Saracoding? Uh, back in 2009 we started painting stuff for eBay uh, selling products there and uh, as our popularity started growing more and more customers seen that product and it just started turning into firearms so eventually we had to get our FFL and as opportunities continually grew we ended up being uh, doing work for Nighthawk Customs and that just kept going and going from a shot show of the 870 Magpul shotgun release in I think it was 2011, fall of 2011, shot show 2012. Well, that's really cool, man. Where did the passion for all the Cerakoting come from? Well, the primary reason was availability for color mixes and being able to mix my own custom colors, uh, being able to walk around the earth and see all the custom colors and go home and try to mimic that color wherever I may see it. Like last night walking around town, be able to see this beautiful stitch art and get so much passion from that and be able to go and go back to the shop and say, hey, I want to mix that color or, or really reproduce cool. yeah. it. It's just, it, it's, it's awesome. That's one of the things I love about art and it just makes a lot of fun. So continuing in that vein in the industry and art, what are some of your favorite companies that you've worked with? Well, obviously Nighthawk Customs is one of them. We've been with them the longest. Uh, Battle Arms Development, Fortis, and the collaboration with Nighthawk and Agency on the Agent 1 and Agent 2 has been phenomenal. In fact, that's one of our custom colors that we mix and then and they also the new smoke technique that we use, which we've been working on this week here quite a bit. I think it's a huge opportunity for everybody and it's just a lot of fun to be able to do those kind of things. With working with those companies, do you have any interesting stories or funny things that have happened to you over, over this period of time? Well, it's kind of amazing. You think about the firearms industry in America and just the trials and tribulations growing through the pains and companies and growing pains of companies. Course, yeah. You know, everybody's trying to get out new products so quickly. So the deadlines are really difficult. You know, you're always trying to do stuff for SHOT Show and NRA and new product releases. So for us, it's, uh, it's a challenge to come up with the new finishes. You always have to be thinking ahead of everybody else. And we try to do our best. Our finishes are some of the most unique finishes in the world. And we focus on that primarily over everything we try to do. So you've been in the industry for a while. What are some of the cooler or more interesting stories that, that's happened? Well, we just did a, a big run for one company, 300 rifles, which is 900 parts. It's a tough, it's, it's a lot of work. So we, it's three of us in my shop. It's me, myself. Uh, we call them blast bunnies, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and then funny. I, have a I have a production painter. Uh, we did 300 ARs uh, in a four color set uh, in 14 days. Wow. So it's a lot of work. My hands, fingers get pretty sore, pressing <laughs> stickers, but it's fun to do those kind of things. Uh, it will be released, I think, Friday or the first of next week, so you'll be able to see that soon. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So to wrap it all up, I just want to ask, so why have you decided to now kind of bring your skill set and your knowledge here to Asia, and more specifically to work with us here at Red Wolf? Well, in America, I work with some of what I consider the top companies in the United States. And I wanted to work with what I consider one of the top airsoft companies in the world. Yeah. And we also wanted to be able to offer our finishes to the airsoft world through you guys, which is a huge opportunity for both of us. Yeah. And uh, hopefully the future will do nothing but get bigger and bigger for all of us. That's, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Hey, thank you for your time again. Thank you for spending such a long time with us, showing us all these ins and outs, these techniques. I really hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. You can see the cutaways that we've done. And a lot of it is just, you know, boy, helping our Saracote masters downstairs just hone their craft and making these really amazing finishes on their guns. Thank you for your time, Boyd. Thanks, really man. appreciate you in town. And uh, catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV.